Welcome once again to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and what we have today is the Davois Leaf Spring uh, Carbon Steel Tall Petty. Uh, so what they do is take a vehicle leaf springs and uh, use those and smith them and grind them and uh, heat treat them. And uh, it's a very interesting operation. You, you can read about it on the uh, product page. So this is a, a Vietnamese knife maker and very interesting things that they do. They have definitely improved their product leaps and bounds since they first started uh, working with Mark and he gave them suggestions and they're really you know paying attention to that. And so the quality of these, the consistency of these has gone up quite a bit and since I've kind of seen the, the first offerings from them. So um, you don't really know what the heat treat is on these and obviously the steel is going to vary based on the products, they, the materials that they get, but uh, it's mono steel construction. It's got that kind of ping and ring to it, ring to it uh, that mono steel has, but it's full carbon steel. It it's, tends to be fairly reactive. It's got kind of a kuduchi or blacksmith finish on it and uh, these are ground on uh, grinders. They're not done on water stones, but um, anyway, they're fairly thinly ground, and everyone's going to be a little bit unique. But it's uh, they've been putting some pretty sweet little handles on these. Actually, the handles are going to vary from knife to knife, but uh, pretty nice little handles on these these days. The weight and dimensions on these are going to vary a bit. But this particular one is 90 grams or 3.2 ounces. The edge length is about 130 millimeters, or about five inches. Overall length is about 10 inches. And uh, the spine thickness again will vary. These, this I measured about 1.8 millimeters in thickness. And you get a little bit of taper primarily where the grind kicks in. You can see the grind here. Obviously very easy to see where the grind is. Uh, but then it gets fairly thin at the tip. Here is the choil shot. Again, these are gonna vary a bit from knife to knife, but you got a little bit of back sweep to the choil. Um, 42.7 millimeters is what I got on this particular one as far as height. Uh, the handles are octagonal. They tend to be kind of thin from side to side and a little bit taller. Um, but uh, the wood's going to vary. This handle circumference I measured about 68 millimeters about right here in circumference or 2.7 inches. And um, balance point, obviously it's a small blade, so your balance point is just about right at the end of that handle. That's about where the balance point is right there. The um, I guess we'll get a little bit closer look at it. So, uh, fairly smooth finish on these. Uh, they've got their maker's mark on there and the name. And you've got kind of a, everyone's going to be a little different, but almost a little bit of a kind of Nishiji kind of finish on them. And then the grind's going to vary. You can This one, you can definitely feel the grind marks on it. You can see them obviously as well. And everyone's going to be just a little bit unique. You can definitely tell you got some hand hammering characteristics to it. And again, it's definitely a piece of uh, something that somebody's worked on by hand. I found that these have been pretty darn straight, and uh, this one, the performance was pretty good. Uh, they're, they need to be sharpened out of the box, in my opinion. The ones I've seen haven't been very sharp out of the box. So uh, the steel is very easy to sharpen. It sharpens up uh, really wonderfully uh, easily. It takes a nice edge. Uh, edge retention is probably not going to be the world's greatest, and the heat treat you know, is going to vary from knife to knife, but um, if you're looking for something to learn how to sharpen with, these are easy to sharpen. Uh, a smaller blade like this with a somewhat, you know, flat profile like this is easy to sharpen and will give you confidence. So uh, if you're wanting to learn how to sharpen, these are easy to touch up and easy to sharpen. And the fact that they might need sharpening more often gives you more practice. So plus, plus, plus. So if you're looking for something unique, interesting, different, uh, you know, than the usual fare, uh, this is a pretty cool product. So I found the performance worked pretty well. The tip was ground pretty thin. Let's look at it on a cutting board. It is a tall petty, so you got some nice clearance if you want to do some board work with it. I was doing some onions with it, but pretty curvy profile as you can tell. So that's what it looks like on the cutting board, but just a neat little interesting knife that uh, would be fun to have and fun to play with and fun to sharpen as well. So this is the Davois 
uh, leaf spraying tall petty.